Okay guys, what's up? We are checking out the Trek Merlin 5 today with an unboxing straight from Trek. This is how it arrives and how we'll start to put it together before its final build. This is the Trek box it comes in, logoed up with all the brands they've had over the years or still are in production in places. Gives you a little key indicator of what tools are needed. Okay, let's get straight into this unboxing. This is a Trek Marlin 5 from 2021. It is a small, all the boxes are about the same. So they all have a bit of glue on them um, and staples, so you just kind of break that off. So this is how Trek packs them in the box. They're using less and less plastic each year. Okay, so step one is you can actually remove the seat and seat post out. We'll just put this on the table next to us. So then pretty much once that seat post is out, you can actually just take out this one little piece of cardboard they put in there now, recycle that. All right, so once that seat post is out and that little piece of cardboard's out, open it up a little bit, and then the whole bike generally just kind of comes on out. There we have it. This is the bike as it comes out of the box, um, kind of neatly cleaned up, um, very minimal plastic to it, which Trek's pretty proud of. And somewhat and somewhat assembled. So we'll just rest this up here and we'll empty out the rest of the box. So you just have one more scrap piece of cardboard and then the box full of the accessories. All right, so we can insert the seat post and get our first pair of clips. Um, this is taking off the rear tire. All right, so we got the Trek Marlin 5 up on the stand now. Here you're gonna be cutting off all these. Here you're gonna be cutting off all these little ribbon pieces and tape. And this is all just holding back the frame. There it is. Okay, so this is the Trek Marlin 5. I've got most of the plastic off and protection now. Trek sends it pretty neatly wrapped. It is pretty cleanly done. They have protectors on every side of the bike. The Trek Merlin is definitely one of our most popular models um, as well. I'd have to assume it's one of Trek's most popular models. So this is a dark aquatic blue. So you've got this dark aquatic and then it goes and fades right up to the Trek black. The Merlin 5 this year, they didn't change. So again, it's got that Shimano Tony drivetrain on the back, seven speeds, three on the front. So it's gonna give you a huge range, really great for commuting. You're gonna be able to find that perfect gear no matter what you're doing. For mountain biking, it is a lot of gears. This is how it always used to be, but in comparison to like a true trail bike now, you are getting a lot of gears. It's gonna be a little looser on the chain, so it kind of bounces around more because you've got to be able to move it and expand the chain all the way forwards and all the way backwards. This just isn't ever going to be as tight as a one by system where you don't have to move these front ones. So it's just something to be noted. You can still definitely trail ride with these. Okay, so we're checking out the accessory box. Comes with a little manual. Most dealers will tell you to just check online for that. For this model, they do now ship with the Colormax pedals, which in 2020, they were not. This is the front axle. Zip tights tie down some cables. Warning information. And bolts to install the front brake caliper on, plus some cable tie things. Second zip tie, and some rubber things. And that's what you get.
So there you have it. That's the Trek Marlin 5 kind of preliminary unboxing. This year you do get the color match pedals to grips, which is really awesome. We'll let someone else finish building this one. So as you can see it, that's kind of a preliminary build of the Trek Marlin 5. This year for 2021, they do come with the color match pedals to the grips and the kind of logoing on the side. The Trek Marlin has been kind of the best selling bike probably of Trek for a long time. I don't know any official sales numbers, but I judge it to be that. It comes with a 2.2 inch wide tire. This one here has the 27 and a half because it's a small frame. Any sizes bigger than that go automatically to the 29s. So that's gonna give you a little faster rolling speeds. It comes with that Shimano Tawny, as we said before, three on the front, seven on the back. Definitely made for a blend of commuting and mountain biking with more focus on the commuting things, you know, or easier trails as opposed to that downhill race stuff you see on TV, Red Bull. Most bike shops you'll see will remove the dork disc. Um, some don't, some get it, some don't. Um, essentially it rattles around, it fades really orange and looks terrible. Um, and normally breaks off on its own, so it's better to remove. So the cool thing about the Trek Marlin 5 is it does have hydraulic disc brakes and a pretty decent geometry for starting out in mountain biking. You can definitely hit a lot of trail with this that you couldn't with something like the 820. And they've designed it with a beefier wheel size with room for up to a 2.35 on there. So it is something you could upgrade. They do make an integrated kickstand hole there, so two little bolts go in and a kickstand mounts really nicely. As well, on most models, you will have two sets of bottle cages. This one only has one because of the smaller frame. The second set would go on here where the seat tube is, and that's also where the sizing of the bike is. The front fork for 2021 is the XCE from SR Suntour. It's a respectable little front fork, it manages to do the job and definitely again lower travel play than what other bikes would have and that is just how much suspension and that is actually just how much room the suspension gets to move although trek has officially said the shield is no longer a part of their scheme uh, they still do put it on every single 2021 model they have upgraded the handlebar to a 31.8 as compared to the smaller size on the 820. This will give it a little bit more handling control as well. They come with the comfort grips and have multiple spacers up and down to get that position. Again, just focused on comfort first. The integrated cables make that bike frame look super clean. Um, it just also adds a teeny bit more protection from the elements from those cables. Wear and tear may last a little bit longer, but I wouldn't expect a lot more. They do add the chainstay protector there, so no longer do you need to buy something extra to stop your bike from getting all smashed up. Many of Trek bikes do come with reflectors on the wheels, seat post, and something on the handlebar too. If it's something you're looking for, definitely ask your shop. They may have an extra set laying around for your model if it didn't come with it. Although lights are definitely a better option. Trek is doing away with the male and female sizing. So they are all essentially the same size in the Marlins. All the men's frames get that kind of nice swoop there. So it doesn't look too girl bike, but it also keeps the standover low for shorter riders, whether male or female. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you're gonna be purchasing yourself a Trek Marlin 5 this year, let me know in the comments below how long you're gonna to have to wait for it because some of them are on a bit of a backlog. Many shops do have a lot in stock, so I'd get down there and get your order in ASAP. Check out the links below for any more information on the bike. It's nice that they did include the uh, matching grips, which uh, matching grips and pedals, which they said they were gonna do in 2020, but with all the chaos, ended up with just black and black. Definitely makes it a sharp looking bike. All right guys, good luck.